Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back. We are doing Elodie's two month update. Two months. <laughs> you heard that, huh? She got startled. She's like, um, excuse me, Dad. All right, let's just begin. We have yeah. her doctor's appointment today. So we have the measurements, her weight, her height. So she, so she is 10 pounds, two ounces. She literally gained one pound, one pound last nice. month, wow. but she stretched out. She is 23.5 inches long. So for her weight, I think she's back down to like 20, 24th or 20th percentile. Her height is up to 92 percentile. And then her head circumference is around 50%. So she's, she's she's really stretching out. Yeah, stretching length. out like big time. She's getting really long, but she's staying nice and petite, like slender. But yeah, baby girl, you are getting big. I mean, she's, look at her. she's got a lot of rolls though. She got cheeks, she got rolls, but I think because she's just stretching out, like she's getting really tall, yeah. like she's not get, getting as much weight. Like Emirate was really tall and really heavy. <laughs> Yeah, he was a heavy chunker. I mean, he was 15 pounds, four ounces, and he was 26 and a half inches long. Yeah. Like he was a big kid already at two, uh, two months. Yeah, he was a heavy kid. A massive kid. Okay, so what are her big milestones? So the very first one I will say, she's smiling and she's smiling a lot more yeah. intentional. Yeah, she's starting to smile, which is really nice. I'll tell you one other thing that she like, really is starting to uh, take advantage of. Mm -hmm crying so we would pick her up yeah she now knows that if i um, cry they'll come and pick me up and hold me yes yeah just i think because you know she's understanding kind of what she wants mm -hmm. what she needs obviously to a very certain extent <laughs> she knows that she needs to be entertained now she knows that she, when she cries she's gonna eat she's gonna get her diaper changed or she's gonna get walked around. She's gonna yeah. get picked up and she's gonna go see places, discover new places. So I think that's really showing as well, like her little personality, her character, in a way, just like Emirat was at two months, you know? Yeah, I remember Emirat also, he also did not wanna fall asleep. He's like, no, pick me up, I'll fall asleep in your arms. Yeah. I mean, she's, she's still- she's, she's, same, she's the same way. But she's a little bit, in the evening. Easier in a way where she will fall asleep on her own, but towards the evening, like when she's already like, I'm already kind of napped out, you're gonna play with me for a couple of hours. Yeah. That's like the next biggest thing for her. She's so awake now. She's Yeah, she's awake yeah. way more. Easily she'll stretch out to three hours, be awake. That's yeah. the one thing she just, hey, let's go play, let's go do things. And then she will take her nice long nap. She still naps three to four naps a day but it just depends on the day and like what she's going through and like if she's kind of upset or she's happy it just but usually three to four out three, three to four naps a day but yeah she's a lot more awake and more intentionally awake like she will be driving the car and she's just awake kind of like looking at the window looking at all the little things just passing through all the little shapes colors whatever <laughs> but yeah she just like Emirat, she loves Loves the ride, loves the Lo car. Loves the car, loves driving, loves the her seat, mm -hmm. um, her Duna. Yeah, the car seat, Duna. Yeah, once you put her in there, she's like, oh. We're going somewhere. This is my favorite seat. Yeah, she's she's really good. Out of all the seats, she likes that one the most. Mm -hmm. Like we have the little, you know, all she sorts of things. She sleeps in that one really good though, the um, Mamaru. She likes when things move. That's the one thing yeah. is different. Emre did not like any kind of seats. He didn't mind the rockers. Like this one right here. Yeah. But only if you're rocking her, she'll be fine. Otherwise, she doesn't like when it stops. Yeah. So that's very different with her and Emirate. So the next biggest milestone, she's holding up her head really well, her neck. Like yeah. I, I'm, st I still can, I still help her. You know, give her a little bit of a guidance <laughs> sometimes because she can get a little crazy. But most of the time, she does really well on her tummy. She'll pick up her neck really well, and she'll kind of stay there for a couple of minutes, and then she'll kind of drop down and then barely kind of pick it up again. But you know, kind of get heavy and tired. But yeah, she's doing really good, like in, with playtime. Like she actually wants to play. And I think we mentioned before, tummy time. Mm -hmm. She's way ahead of Emirate. Yeah. Um, she'll like look and she'll actually pay attention. Mm -hmm. And she'll stay there and she won't complain. Yeah. She actually enjoys it. Mm -hmm. Emirate, like we, we had to force him yeah. to be on his tummy. Because mm -hmm. he, he just did not want to go on his no. tummy. I mean, it's understandable. The kid was a big kid. Yeah. <laughs> he had a big head. He still yeah. does. <laughs> but the next thing also, 
along with holding her neck. She's really following objects or us as we're moving around. So let's say she sees me straight and then she sees me move. She'll follow me that yeah. way and then follow me the other way. I actually did a video specifically yeah. for that. Like, yeah, and she'll follow you. Hi, baby girl. And she'll stare you down. Mm -hmm. She'll be like, I see you. Yeah. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> It's the, it's the cutest thing ever. And I also feel like she recognizes now who's holding her. If it's me or Andre or somebody completely else, she still gets obsessed with Emirate. <laughs> Just because he's a little more forceful with her. But I feel like with me, she already knows that I'm holding her because I have a certain way that she enjoys the way I hold her. And then when daddy holds her, she's like, okay, he now I'm gonna be held a different way. So I think she she's understanding and she's kind of pushing her weight around a little bit with what she wants and expects <laughs> Yeah. from one hand to the other. She's got her, she's got a few holds with me. She likes both like, like a football hold now mm -hmm. and when you just, uh, I don't know, straightforward Hugging, you know, like a baby, baby hold. That's what baby, I just call yeah, it. Yeah, baby hold. Like she likes that one also. Emirate, he loved the football hold. Mm -hmm. He didn't care about any other ones. Yeah. For me, the two holds like this, this is when we're done feeding to kind of go away from this region. And then when we're done feeding or she just wants to cuddle more, I hold her right here on my shoulder, kind of close into my neck and we kind of like nuzzle and cuddle. Those are two holds with me. Yeah, she doesn't like, she doesn't care I about think that it's, one. I think it's because of your cheek. It's too rough on her. <laughs> Maybe. I think so. Yeah. She's like, Because she starts crying right away. She does not like it. So the next thing, What's the one thing that's very similar to her and Emirate? What you were saying, what calms them down besides riding around? Pacifiers. No, the other thing. <laughs> music. <laughs> that was like your biggest thing. Well, yeah, pacifiers are complete twins. Yeah, mu music, yeah, you turn it on and she, she does uh, calm down with that. Mm -hmm. My sister Olga was visiting with her family and she picked her up and she was kind of, um, kind of cranky in a way, Elodie. And Olga started singing to her. And within a couple of seconds, she really just kind of calmed down, sort of like melting into Olga's arms. And she goes, Olga, my sister, she goes, there's a reason why her name is Elodie. It rhymes with melody. So you sing her little melodies and she'll calm down right away. And it's true. She loves music. She loves when you kind of talk to her, when you sing to her in your ear. Yeah, yeah, she, she she's does. very different than with Emirate. Emirate loved music. But I feel like at this stage, music didn't really, like when you sing to him directly, he didn't really calm down. It was more towards when he was already a little bit older, like six months and above. When you start singing to him, he like recognized something. But with her, yeah, she, she likes, recognizes something. Yeah, she likes when people are talking to her. Mm -hmm. She likes the, no, the noises. Mm -hmm. and she's paying attention. I think or like it's the driven her attention. Yeah, the different octaves as well. Because I try yeah. to be a little bit more in intense with her. That's what I was reading. Like with this age. Ooh, God bless you. Ooh, God bless oh, you. Oh, boy. Oh, good sneezes. I was reading that you, you have to be a lot more expressive when you talk to them, when you show them things. So that's what I try to do with her and see what kind of reaction I get out of her. <laughs> so besides this, we mentioned pacifiers. She, at first, I would say like the first month, she would take a pacifier here and there. Like she would only take it in the car seat if she was really kind of really upset or whatever else, she would kind of take the pacifier, but she would have a hard time. She'd either spit it out or like kind of gag on it, but I, cause I think it was maybe too big, even though I have the correct size. But now she will actually hold it in her mouth if she wants to, she'll spit it out when she doesn't need it anymore. She doesn't want it, but pacifier suits her. Yeah, it does. But at the same time, she doesn't love it. Not like Emirate. Emirate <laughs> loved it. Mm -hmm. He's just like, where is it? Yep. Where's my pacifier? Just give me the pacifier yeah. right now. Yep. Her, she's like, eh, I don't want it right now. Like, mm -hmm. it's, you don't know if she's gonna want it or not. Yeah. Emirate, you know, he just wants it. Yeah. But I'm glad that it, she will still take it and she will calm down, especially in the car seat or if I can't hold her, Andre's holding her, I can't feed her right away. She will take it and she will calm down. Like right now, you wanna take it? See? See? Yeah. There you go. And she's good. For the next, what, five minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the next thing I will say with her sleeping, like remember last month, I kind of broke her cycle because we were yeah. sick and I was feeding her on demand. But we're kind of back in a schedule. We're actually not back. We're finally getting to a schedule with her, with Emirate, with us. We're almost there. <laughs> but what I'm basically saying is during the day, I know when she needs to nap. I know when she needs to eat. And then during the night, same thing. We're not on a schedule. I know when she will wake up and I know when she will fall asleep. Like I, her, her, at nighttime, she usually goes to bed between eight to nine o'clock at night. That's when I will swaddle her. That doesn't mean she's gonna close her eyes, but that's when I change her diaper, we feed, 
we swaddle and then that's when she will be in the bassinet and she can be awake for like 30 minutes but that's when I'll give her the pacifier and she'll kind of soothe herself and we'll go to sleep without crying. Unless I take her. Unless Andre takes her <laughs> and they just, they chill out on the couch or whatever they're doing. In the office. In the office, we, we yeah. watch our thing. Yeah, you do your thing at, the, at, at night. But then she will sleep until at least three, four in the morning, sometimes even five in the morning, just depending what time she actually fell asleep at night. But she usually wakes up once to twice a night, which usually it's only once. If it's twice a night, then then either she's having a little growth spurt or she's just not feeling good. Maybe her tummy hurts. But yeah, we're kind of back on schedule for nighttime. It's good. I'm excited because yeah. Emirate was the same way. He slept really, really good. But then, you know, the regression hit and he's like, mom, I'm gonna wake up every two hours. You're welcome. It's been a really good two months, I will say. It's been, like I said, quite a blur. Like we got sick the first month you know, the three of us, she was, you know, we're trying to keep her away from all the sick people, <laughs> even though I was also sick, but that breast milk, you know, it's a magic it's, formula. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. Yo, two kids. Two One kids. to two kids. Oh, that's a very, it's a very different transition. Yeah. And we're only on the second month. <laughs> we're already feeling it, you know? Yeah, I feel the difference. <laughs> yes. Two kids, like it's twice as much uh, to think about and to take care of, mm -hmm. like in the morning, if I have both of them, there's nothing else I can do. Except nothing. Okay, change you. Okay, change you. Okay. Hold you're, you. You're crying. Hold okay, you next. Hold you. Okay, you need Feed you. <laughs> okay, you're just okay. Okay, what 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 else do you need, Emirate? There's nothing else you can do. Mm -hmm. I think you know We're we're nowhere close to the schedule we had with Emirate. No. We're not at all. I feel like we're twice as busy because of her. Mm-hmm. Well, because of her and him <laughs> combined. Well, yeah. Her meaning like adding her into our life, it, it really did. Um, like it's it's harder than with one kid, definitely. Oh yeah, like we, it's Much right, right now it's so nice because it's just her, but if Emirate was here, you would want to be able to do anything. We'd have to be following him around or really pre preoccupy him with something that we know is gonna keep him preoccupied for X amount of time. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's incredible having two kids, you know, kind of relearning the baby newborn stage and now we're learning everything brand new with Emirate you know, as he's getting closer to two years. So yeah. it's been, it's been really good. Like mentally, you know, I'm kind of, we kind of know what to expect now, but like physically we're just so tired <laughs> all the time. It's still, you know, we're still kind of trying to get to, to a, a pace and a schedule, <laughs> yes, but we're much better than we were a month ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yes, we're, we're getting, we're going places. Plus the weather is so nice, that's another thing. We took our first hike, like a family hike. It was really great, except, you know, Emirate. <laughs> Towards the very end, he wanted to hike by himself, which it was not, it was not like a crazy hike. It wasn't super intense. So towards the very end, you know, he wanted to do his own thing because he was tired. He's like, guys, I don't want to be carried. I want to walk now, but also be carried at the same time. You know what I mean? He wanted it all at the same time. But yeah, I think just finding those little things that we, already enjoy as a couple, as a family, and just introducing her and then finding another way to also introduce Emirate to it and just do it as a family. Yeah, we've been going out with her, people been coming over. Um, we've been going to parks. Going to parks. Because the weather is just so beautiful. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of family here also. I yeah. guess that's the thing. We always hang out. We always try to hang out, especially Always for try to Ab. make family time. Yeah, especially yeah. because of Emirate, he really needs Cousins, know, cousins and friends. Just and to understand the yeah. social circles, how to interact, how yeah. to, you know, share. He's such a social butterfly. <sighs> such a social butterfly. But yes, I'm I'm still very happy we're doing these monthly updates because like I said, comparing it to like the first baby or the second baby or whatever, it's so fun and it's just literally doing it all over again, but you forget or it's blurry, some parts are hazy, and it's so nice to kind of, you know, like even today with a doctor, just asking her so many questions, even though I went through a lot of it with Emirate, and I still remember, because it is not that, because the time is so close, but it's far enough where a lot of it you forget, or like I yeah. said, it's hazy or it's blurry, so. It's been, it's been really nice to kind of relive a lot of these incredible memories that we created with Emra and now we get to create it with her. Yeah. It's so, yeah. it's so incredible. And it's fun to compare them. So fun. It sounds kind of bad, like I'm comparing my child to my other uh, child. Not, I mean, not in a bad way, it's just no, to, yeah. to see the differences. Mm -hmm. and or what, similarities. It'll be very interesting to see 
how those differences work themselves out to be yeah. later on in the future, you know, mm -hmm. so we can remind them. Oh yeah, this is who you, you were. You were you were like that all from beginning. Mm -hmm. You were just different this this way or that way. Yeah, or it's just the, the, you're those different or those certain characters that are a lot more pre, like prevalent or present yeah. when they're older. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like I'm gonna definitely share all these notes with them when they're old enough to understand and like the little videos of themselves. Yeah. Emirat loves watching videos of Elodie and himself. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, he loves it so much. It's the, he gets upset when we turn the, turn the phone off or whatever else, but he just loves it. With him, it's like you record and he's like, show it to me. Yeah. Now I want to see it. Yes. He's like a director. Yes. <laughs> record it and I want to see it and approve it. <laughs> but that's where he's gonna be. He's gonna be a director. He's gonna be a producer, a director. He's gonna be the talent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the one man team. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for joining us already for two months with little Elodie. Look at her, so peaceful. The talking, the holding, she's she's good. <laughs> she's, she's like, I don't know if you guys heard that, but she just did that. I think the one thing I will say before we end off, she's not as vocal as Emirate was at this age. She doesn't coo, she doesn't like kind of talk as much, baby talk as much as Emirate did. She does make a lot of those noises. Though. Grunts, the yes. Grunts. The grunts while she stretches, she's very vocal with that. Like they're complete opposites, her and Emirate. But like talking like gooing and aahing and whatever, she's yeah. not as talkative as Emirat was. Yeah, Emirat was a lot more. Mm -hmm. yeah. But <laughs> thank you so much for spending the last two months with us and we'll see the next one in a month. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. See you.